Pocket Arbor of New York was actually the, the one of the first companies that I worked with professionally that uh, getting to do Handel operas. Um, it was my second Handel opera I did with them, um, Alcina. Uh, really, really amazing experience. We had a really great um, production. Uh, spend a lot of time building ensemble, which was something that I feel like as opera singers, um, sometimes we don't always get that luxury because of time constraints. And um, we got to do things that I think a lot of actors get to do, but perhaps opera singer actors don't always get to do. Um, so there were just some really interesting stage pictures that emerged, I think, out of this kind of physical work that we did. We had these knives in our hands that were sort of representative of how we can, at the same time, caressing somebody can hurt them. Uh, so there were often scenes where we were using the knife in a seductive way um, and then turn around and use them in a more violent, you know, obvious way that you would use a knife. I just really enjoyed this production mostly because of the um, sort of intimate and extended period of time I got to spend with the cast and developing um, really unique relationships between each of the characters. Vertical Repertory Players is uh, a, a um, smaller company in Brooklyn uh, that does a lot of really interesting work. Um, they're among the sort of smaller regional companies that I've worked with. And uh, they do some really fascinating things. This was a production of La Calisto, which is a 17th century Venetian Italian opera by Cavalli, and I got to play the role of Pane. This was a really cool um, production because it was outdoors, and it probably presented some of the more unique issues that I've ever had to deal with in terms of a performance. But this became a very interesting role for me because I was having to declaim text. It was outdoors. We were in sort of this um, mythical sort of land structure and um, uh, we had this fire escape which we used to go up and down as we were ascending to the heavens and it, it was just a really interesting staging. Orpheus Orfeo in Italian uh, is one of the roles that I perform, I've performed a few times now. It's sort of a bread and butter role for me and it's a role that a lot of countertenors get to do at some point and it's, it's an amazing piece because you are on stage the entire time. You never get off stage, and it's for like a good hour and 45 minutes that you just keep singing. I got the chance to do uh, Orpheus first in with Brooklyn Repertory Opera, the smaller company that I worked with in Brooklyn that was wonderful, and it gave me a chance to cut my teeth a little bit on it and, and do it and, and get a chance to really know what it was to do that role, because it's a, it's a it's a powerhouse role and it really takes stamina and you have to kind of know the pitfalls. Um, so I was really happy to have had that chance, but then went on after doing that production and got picked up by Opera Memphis, which was a much, much higher level company. Because as an opera singer, you do often get to sing the same roles many, many times, but especially when you're first starting out, every time is usually something new and you're having to learn something from scratch and it's a huge process to learn a role. Um, and so to get a chance to do something at a higher level company that you already know really allows you to get a little bit more in depth. <laughs> Distinguished Concerts International New York has teamed up with Nico Castell, who is a famous tenor. The two have sort of joined forces and created a competition in 2011 uh, called the Nico Castell Master Singer Competition. I actually participated in their inaugural year, and I won. And part of my prize was a contract to uh, sing with Distinguished Concerts International of New York at Avery Fisher Hall in their Messiah. But singing it in that hall with that huge orchestra and a choir that comprised of several different choirs from around the country, and I believe also around the world, combined to make this huge massive force choir. I was singing solo in front of it and it was probably one of the most amazing experiences of my life and I will remember it always and it was sort of a, a really defining point for me as once I kind of got into my countertenor career, this is sort of two years in, I got this opportunity to, to perform at Lincoln Center and make my debut there and 
I will never forget that, that feeling of having so many people behind you, supporting you and, and creating this amazing production. 